if you watched a previous episode where I converted my old Mitsubishi ute into a, uh, a farm trailer, this is it. I've got it back in the workshop now because uh, I have found that filling it up with dirt, uh, with the loader, is good and then I can carry it to where I want to go but getting it off the loader is quite another matter off the uh, trailer. Um, so today and uh, in uh, days gone past I'm going to convert it into a tipping trailer. I've got a hydraulic ram uh, which I'll show you in a moment and uh, uh, we've uh, just been working out the uh, mechanism to uh, get this thing tilted back to about 45 degrees. So I think I've got it all worked out, but time will tell. Um, so we'll just move on. Now, I've been cleaning up some of the steel recently, uh, ready to go today. I hope to uh, tack together the mechanism and uh, start the assembly. Well, after a uh, short search of YouTube, looking for uh, converting trailers into dump trailers, I've uh, managed to grab a few uh, screenshots from uh, one video I found in particular in, in England. And basically this is the sort of um, construction that I'm thinking about. This, this ram here is very similar to the one I have. It's a short throw, high power thing. And I just have to make up this uh, sort of pentagraph type of arrangement there. As you can see here, I've started to make one out of uh, cardboard just to give me a proof of concept sort of thing. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to work to give me at least 45 degrees angle. Um, the only thing I'll have to do is to make sure that the uh, I add some extra steel framework here because there's a lot of power in this uh, ram and at short distance so close to the pivot um, there's an awful lot of force going into a small area so I'll have to make sure it's well braced. First thing I want to do is get rid of these old brackets right on the tail end of the chassis. That's where I'm going to take the hinge um, bracket from. Just run a piece of metal up either side onto the uh, uh, rail of the tray um, which I'll have a uh, bracing piece of uh, RHS uh, rectangular steel inside it and uh, once I've got a hinge mounted on here then I can free up the rest of the mountings and uh, lift the tray so that I can get moving on it. The mock-up cardboard mock-up of the of the lifting mechanism. And the ram is going to go between this point and that point there, and uh, I just got to see now how tight it's going to be coming from that back cross member. It's a bit too tight. I think this one here has got to go. It's in the way. I want this down here further, so it might relocate this crossbar down to here on the chassis. Give me a bit more room to swing and uh, yeah, put this one just across here. It'll give me a bit more room to put this up there where I want it to be. I need another cross member across there to brace it off. So, <coughs> a little bit of butchery here and there. Get some extra strengthening in the cross members and that'll do it. Well, this is the uh, the ram that I'm going to be using. It's an old one that a friend of mine has uh, dug up. And it's uh, quite a deal more powerful than I need, but there it is. And uh, I have been uh, cutting these pieces of steel uh, to shape. Uh, I bought myself a new plasma cutter to make a, a neater job of it. And um, I've just cleaned off the mill scale uh, to make it easier and more permanent to paint. Um, these are the hinges that I uh, need to make. And of course, I've still got to clean off the mill scale of them. This is the, this black surface. Uh, it's just a hard surface that uh, forms on the uh, on the metal when it's being milled. But uh, so right now, that'll be the first job is to clean this sort of stuff up. And then I want to assemble all of this. These are the pins that I'm going to. Uh, through the uh, 
the ram and all the suitable bits to keep it all together and um, then get it onto the machine, onto the trailer. Right, as I said, uh, we'll just get all the mill scale cleaned off these two hinges and uh, that gets them ready for, for paint. And then once I've got the rest of it done, away we go. Might be good if I had some power. Okay, here we go. Right, nice and shiny, and a uh, little bit of wire brushing on the edges, and uh, that'll do it. Right, we're just going to uh, try and drill a, a hole through the uh, the hinge plate here, through the the tray rail and the uh, RHS I've got as a metal sh uh, steel chassis rail. So, see how we go. The pin will come through this time. Even less. A little bit more. And there we have it. Right. That's one hinge pin in. Here we go. <coughs> yeah, we're going to take it apart and then put them underneath. Yeah. 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 Pack, pack, pack. Because it's very unforgiving of the electrics. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Up the pins. Okay, that's weld it. on the inside now. That's the only that's the only connections across apart from the pins, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. yeah. We'll just do a double check if I can get a small idea with my 
23. Scary, isn't it? Pretty scary when it doesn't move. I wonder what is going to go wrong. That's it uh, propped up to about 30 degrees. I'd like to get it to 45 uh, eventually and uh, we'll have a look from the front. Yeah, that's it uh, looking from the front. Now I've got to get what that's enabled me to do is to get in under here without crawling around on the ground and weld up the uh, the crossbars and such. I need to put some uh, crossbars across here for the uh, ram to push on and another one down here and that uh, has to be pretty strong because a tremendous amount of force. Ah, get some electricity first. Well here it is, outside and ready to go. All I've got to do now is get somebody to help me mount it onto the uh, onto the trailer. And that's not an easy job, it's pretty awkward and a little bit heavy too. This is the uh, section of it with a ram that I uh, built. So that will, uh, that will come up, lift up here in a scissor action to uh, lift the back of the tray up again. I've put some hinge plates on the back here and over here I put this steel frame inside the aluminium chassis to give it a bit of guts and the other end of that apparatus will uh, pin into there and hopefully push it all up where I want it to be. So that's the uh, the next section is to get that back up on top of this Oh, we're 
Basically, this is the uh, mechanism that's finished. Um, the only thing I had to add are these extra bracings on the top and a similar sort of thing down the bottom here, just in case you know, I've got a uh, major load on board that it doesn't uh, bend these crush members. But uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with the way it's going. But, uh, it does mean we've got a rather long, long lead going back to the tractor, but that's. Uh, that's part of the course. No problem with that. Uh, one difference that uh, some may notice is that the, I've upgraded the tractor now. Um, I've gone to a, a T413 TYM, which is uh, instead of the 29 horsepower I had before, this one's 38. I just needed a little extra power, and we uh, got a pretty good deal from the dealer. So that's given me more capabilities more power and uh, and a few extra little bits and pieces and um, we've added a hydraulic top link in there too to uh, allow for a bit better adjustment and uh, of course it's got the two rear remotes there for the hydraulics and a lot of things that are uh, just slight improvements Okay, it's ready to go. I checked the fuel and oil, and uh, we're ready to go clean up some trees. This is uh, today's job. I've got the, uh, the trees, a couple of trees, these old dead wattles that have uh, blown down, and I've got to uh, tidy them up because they're blocking the way. There's one of the trails here, so. Um, We've got the trusty chainsaw out and it'll give me a chance to test the uh, the work I've done on converting uh, my trailer into a dump trailer as well.
successful.